Have you ever wondered what led to the complete destruction of one of the greatest cities of the ancient world, Carthage? Today, we delve into the siege of Carthage. The origins of the Third Punic War are steeped in a complex tapestry of political and economic tensions between Rome and Carthage. Rome, ever the expanding empire, had long eyed Carthage with unease and suspicion. The city's wealth, its strategic location and its potential to challenge Rome's dominance were all factors that led to the declaration of war. Among the key players in this grand spectacle of power was a man named Scipio Aemilianus. He would later earn the name Scipio Africanus, a testament to his pivotal role in this chapter of history. As the Roman general leading the siege, he was tasked with a mission that would change the course of history. So the stage was set for one of the fiercest sieges in history, with Scipio Africanus at the helm of the Roman forces. Now imagine the year 149 BC. The Romans, led by Scipio Africanus, have surrounded the mighty city of Carthage. The Roman siege engines rumble ominously, their stone projectiles hurtling towards the city's imposing walls. Carthage, a jewel of the Mediterranean, now stands isolated, its once bustling ports eerily silent. Scipio's strategy is clear cut off supplies, starve the city into submission. The Romans construct a formidable blockade, a double line of circumvallation sealing Carthage from the outside world. Meanwhile, the Carthaginians are not sitting idle. They respond with ingenious defensive mechanisms, bolstering their fortifications, and even crafting weapons from any available materials. Yet as the siege drags on, life inside the city becomes increasingly dire. Famine sets in, followed by disease. Despair creeps into the hearts of the citizens, but it is met with a fierce determination. The Carthaginians, cornered and desperate, fight with everything they have, their spirits unbroken by the Roman onslaught. Despite the odds, the people of Carthage refuse to surrender, fighting back with a courage born of desperation. The siege, however, was only the beginning of the end for Carthage. As the Roman forces, led by the astute and relentless Scipio Africanus, tightened their grip, the Carthaginian situation grew increasingly dire. The city, once a bastion of commerce and culture, was now a fortress under siege, its inhabitants locked in a desperate battle for survival. Scipio, seeing the city's resilience, knew that a swift and decisive action was needed. He orchestrated a daring plan to breach the city walls. The Romans, armed with siege engines, catapults, and an indomitable spirit, launched a fierce assault. Against all odds, they succeeded. The impenetrable walls of Carthage had fallen. The fall of the walls, however, did not signal an immediate end to the conflict. The Carthaginians, despite their dire situation, were not ready to capitulate. The fighting moved from the walls to the streets, turning the city into a brutal battleground. Every alley, every house, every corner became a theater of war. The Romans, unyielding and ruthless, fought their way through the city, street by street, house by house, until they achieved their final victory. The aftermath of the siege was a grim spectacle. The Romans, having finally quelled the Carthaginian resistance, showed no mercy. The surviving Carthaginians, those who had not fallen in battle, were rounded up and enslaved. The city, once a jewel of the Mediterranean, was systematically destroyed. Buildings were torn down, the harbor was dismantled, and the land was salted to prevent future habitation. And so, in 146 BC, the once thriving city of Carthage was reduced to ashes, marking the end of the Third Punic War. The city that had once challenged the might of Rome was no more. It was a stark reminder of the brutal reality of warfare and of the relentless march of empire. The siege of Carthage was not just a military victory for Rome, but a turning point in history. This decisive battle shifted the balance of power in the Mediterranean, forever changing the course of world events. In the aftermath of Carthage's fall, Rome stood unchallenged, its rivals vanquished or subdued. With Carthage's powerful navy and formidable army out of the picture, Rome faced little opposition in the Mediterranean. This newfound dominance allowed Rome to consolidate its power, extending its influence across the region. The vacuum left by Carthage's destruction paved the way for the rise of the Roman Empire. Rome's influence expanded beyond the Mediterranean, shaping cultures, politics, and societies far and wide. Yet while Rome flourished in the wake of Carthage's downfall, the siege itself was a grim testament to the devastation that warfare can inflict. The siege of Carthage, therefore, serves as a stark reminder of the fleeting nature of power and the devastating impact of war.